Putin plan, Russia to have poverty, join world's five biggest economies, increase life expectancy. Vladimir Putin unveiled an ambitious vision for Russia for his new six-year term, including rapid economic growth, a rise in life expectancy, and a drop in inequality, hours after his inauguration. Titled National Ideas and Strategic Aims for the Development of the Russian Federation by 2024 The 17-point degree, in force as of today, touches on dozens of areas from mortgages, to road safety, and the creation of a national youth orchestra. Here are the highlights. Joining the Big Five According to the document, Russia is to become one of the world's five biggest economies, maintaining GDP growth above the global average while retaining macroeconomic stability. Read more, Russia needs to become less oil dependent in next six years, Putin. Measured by nominal GDP, Russia is outside the top 10 biggest economies, and would have to produce near dull digit growth to catch up in the next six years. However, using purchasing power parity GDP, which is a better measure of the real value of the economy, Russia sits in sixth place, just behind Germany, so the target is not unrealistic. Outpacing world GDP growth will be a harder task. The world economy grew by 3.5% last year, while Russia is expanded by 1.5 and is expected to trend under the global average again this year. Increasing life expectancy to 78 According to last year's stats, Russians' life expectancy hit an all-time high in 2017, reaching nearly 73. Female life expectancy is already over 78 a respectable number for a country of Russia's economic means. Achieving the new target will require reducing one of the greatest gender mortality disparities in the world, which sees the country's men die, on average, a decade younger than the women. Ensuring Steady Population Growth Russia's population has rebounded from its 2009 low of fewer than 142 million to nearly 147 million last year partly thanks to the addition of 2 million Crimean residents. The target will involve boosting the birth rate to 1.7, a number exceeded just two years ago, through financial incentives for new parents, better health provision, and better employment prospects for working mothers. As with the previous aim, the other part of this objective will come through reducing mortality, not least through encouraging Russians to live a healthier, more active lifestyle.